Today we're going to look at the classic Browning semi-automatic 22 rifle, also known as the SA-22. Actually started production in 1914 and continues production even today. This rifle was considered one of the very first 22 production rifles made as a classic. It's sleek lines, it's lightweight, it's balance. It's just an incredible 22 rifle. Now FN Herstal began production in 1914. And FN made these from 1914 to 1974 in Belgium. And then the production was moved in 1976 to Japan. This is a Japanese made uh, Browning. And they did a very fine job, but the real collectors are the Belgian models. They will handle 22 long rifle, 12 in the magazine, and then they'll handle uh, 22 short. They come in several grades, and many of them are highly engraved. A lot of them have gold inlay. This does have the, the light engraving, which is standard, along the side. And that was one of the things, because of the way this gun is designed, all the shells eject out of the bottom of the rifle, out of the receiver. So it gives a really nice place to be able to do engraving. Also checkering here on the walnut stock forearm and the pistol grip on the back. Now this isn't a really exceptional specimen. It does have some wear. Uh, it's been shot a lot. And you know, to be honest with you, that's what this rifle is for. Unless you're going to get into some of the higher grades. Now the safety here is right above the trigger. It's a cross bolt safety and it's very intuitive. If you want to fire, just push and then fire. To charge the bolt, pull back on the lever here and this charges the bolt itself. This is also what releases the shell and then the ejected shell comes out of the bottom. And this keeps the shells from going toward the face or anywhere else. Just has them straight down. The walnut stocks have a nice high gloss to them. There is a nice metal butt plate. And here is where the tube goes into the rear. And this, you pull the tube out to load it. And then, of course, loading is done right here inside the stock. It does have a tubular magazine that feeds the rounds into the chamber. The rod itself has a spring that keeps pressure on the shells to keep them moving forward. Goes right back into the buttstock. It weighs 5.2 pounds, so it's really a decent weight. Also, the balance is really nice. I'm holding this right here, and it's perfectly balanced. It's very pointable. In fact, because of that, it makes it really accurate. Even standing and shooting, you can do very well with your accuracy. Now the sights themselves are adjustable, and here we have just a fold down rear sight that is adjustable. And then on the front, we have a bead sight, and it is highly visible uh, in daylight. Of course, this can also be drifted for windage as well. Now the bluing itself is a very deep blue, very high polished and really nice, just typical of browning. The overall length is 37 inches, uh, but the uh, barrel itself is 19 and a quarter inches all smooth rounded edges it's just really ergonomic it feels really great in the hand this taking in the field is an excellent choice now it is drilled and tap for a scope mount if you want to put a optics on this rifle now one unique feature about this rifle is that it is a takedown and here is a screw that comes loose then you take this lever and push forward toward the handguard pull back on your receiver and then you just turn and it releases really easy to do even in the field
New manufactured rifles run $599.99. And I looked in a number of different places and they're pretty much consistent with that price. Of course, right here you see that the caliber and Browning patents on this side of the barrel. And then stamped on the other side is the Browning Firearm Company and uh, where it is made. And of course, made in Japan on this one. If you're really looking for a very high quality 22 semi-automatic rifle, the Browning SA-22 is one of the best choices you can make. The Browning 22 semi-automatic rifle. It's an incredible, fun rifle that will not only last your lifetime, but you can hand this down to generations to come. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Browning 22 semi-automatic rifle is the first 22 production classic rifle. The Browning 22 semi-automatic rifle was one of the first full production rifles. The Browning 22 automatic was considered one of the first production 22 rifles made.